Hey guys, so another uh, really important win yesterday for Wrexham and potentially a very decisive day in the title race with Notts County also dropping points. And, and fingers crossed, if we win the league, this will be the last time we're playing on an artificial pitch, at least in a, in a competitive game, for for a long time. Yeah, because I don't think, yeah, the away games you at the moment, they're not on artificial pitches, so that should be done and dusted, which would be... Like I said, fantastic. Also, just before we get into the video, can you please ask if you enjoy my videos, could you, you know, subscribe and like the video? That'd be great. Thank you very much. So yeah, coming to the game, you know, we had Elliot Lee missing due to illness. And also Parkinson mentioned that Palmer and Darby had a bit of illness as well. So hopefully there's just a little something that's going to take a few days to work its way out of the squad. But it was good to see Jordan Davis starting. I know he's had a bit of a struggle getting back into the team, you know, being subs be on the bench waiting for his opportunity and hopefully this is something for him to build up for i know he came off towards the end but you know he hasn't exactly started in a long time and it's been a bit like cannon who hadn't started as well but has been playing more prominently now from from the first half rexham probably could have got some earlier goals in the first half the first half or the first you know early parts of the first half but you know couldn't quite get there and then bromley started to come into it but didn't didn't quite there wasn't too much, too many issues. It is also a shame that Linton's gone off injured again at Bromley. You're getting his studs caught in in the artificial pitch. Obviously, says you know ligament damage. Not quite sure how long that that'll be for. Hopefully, it's not too long, as it is a bit of a blow for him having. You know, it's not been too long since he's returned as the first team goalkeeper. But you know, Howard came on. I don't think he did too bad a job. I think you know we got those two excellent goals from Mullen I think that that second goal especially where the keeper dropped the ball from long throw I'm, I was surprised we didn't perhaps try and pepper the goalkeeper a few more shots if he was going to be, be a chance of, of slipping the ball perhaps this wasn't something that, that quite happened really I didn't seem didn't seem that 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 really, that really came through and Bromley did look like they were starting to get a bit more potential but even even then you know they had their, their goal and one chance later on didn't seem like they properly threatened, threatened Howard so that was uh, an excellent excellent end of the game it certainly was nervy when they said seven seven minutes and it was like oh no are you gonna hold on and especially with the game starting 15 minutes later and you know, Notts County having already slipped up it was yeah, very a very tense end to the game I mean going on a little on to the Notts County side I've seen like Luke Williams the Notts County manager has mentioned the title race so which obviously that's just a little bit of mind games really i can't really think they're gonna roll over now i mean yes yeah, i mean sure if you if you want to start wrestling players now for scunthorpe yeah that's great you, you know give scunthorpe a chance to stay up and you you lose and we can win the titan two three games yeah that's that, that's fantastic you, you you do that luke williams but yeah but seriously yeah they're just playing down expectations but trying to put the pressure on Wrexham. but i think we'll probably ignore that really we'll you know, we should beat we should beat York next week and then they've got Altrincham before we play before we play Oldham. So they'll have two games in hand at that point. Hopefully Altrincham can do something to make Notts County slip up again, which allow us to extend our lead further. You know, thinking much we should beat Oldham really and then maybe even win the title against them on the tenth, or essentially win the title. That could be well like a slight possibility we'll see but yeah but in terms of Notts County it, it did seem that Barnett perhaps could have won it I, I read that they Barnett had quite a few one-on-one -on -one chances but they couldn't seem to finish off their chances which you know could have left us four points clear but you know you take what you're given and then you you move on to the move on to the next game but yeah so it should be fingers crossed hopefully we get some more news on Leighton coming up relatively soon but yeah thanks for listening please subscribe if you enjoyed this video chat with you soon thanks bye, -bye.